and gals. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Iron Man Challenge on the classic World of Warcraft hardcore server Skull Rock. This Greetings. is Iron Woman. And this episode, we're going to the Tower of Alithax. Oops, somebody gave me, gave me thorns and Mark of the Wild. Which is amazing, but we're not allowed to have that. Because this is the Iron Man Challenge. Last episode, we leveled up, hit level 34. Tell you what, tell you what, tell you what. So we're going up here to the Tower of Alphalax. I always say that incorrectly. We're going to get that quest on its green, but before we do that, we're going to go train up. We're going to go to Darnassus. We also have a quest to turn in, so let's get our abilities set first so we're good to go. Because this might be a little challenging, even though it's a green quest. We'll see. I don't know. I'm not sure what to expect. I am honored. Good luck, friend. All right. Rutheran Village it is. Rutheran? It's probably Rutheran. I don't know. Doo -doo -doo. Hope you guys gals are doing well today. Or tonight. Whenever you happen to see this. Not doing too bad. It's a Monday night for me. Doing some episodes back to back. Kind of a cool shot right here, isn't it? Absolutely freezing in my house. I've turned up the heat a little bit. So I've dropped one of the Let's Plays right now because I it's not working anymore. I've talked about it in some of the earlier episodes, but or past episodes. I'm having to drop Snow Runner, which I don't like, but anyway, I don't want to go into it. Uh, you can I talk about it in the last episode and some of them on the Shaman as well. Um, so I'm gonna be starting something else, I believe. So the the channel is gonna the channel release what's coming out is gonna change up a little bit, but uh, we're gonna be playing a brand new game, something I've never played before, and I've got several on the list. What I'm gonna do? We're going to the Warriors Terrace. Yeah. Well, let's go train up first, and then we'll go to the Warriors Warriors Terrace. So what I'm gonna do is. Do a little, I'll do it from the King's Room video, and I'll go over some of the games I have on the list, and then if anybody wants to add anything else, they can let me know. And if, you know, if I see thumbs up on it, or people are like, yeah, I also want to see that, I'll add it to the list, and then I'll do a poll. I'll put out a poll on the channel, and you guys can vote, and we'll pick which uh, new game we want to play. How may I help? Uh, I'd like to train... Serpent Sting 5 and Disengage 2. All I really care about right now. Yeah. Farewell. Can't get anything for the pet yet. Let's put those on the bar. Um, this does 210 damage over 15 seconds now. Upgraded from 140. Very nice. And then we have Disengage Rank 2, which is just more effective than Rank 1. All right, we've got a quest to turn in over here at Warrior's Terrace. So to give an example of some of the games I have on the list, let me open this. Where is it? So I, it's just games people have mentioned. I've just added them. Um, I've got Tomb Raider. It's like a series. I think it's three of them. I haven't played Tomb Raider, any Tomb Raider game, since like the mid-90s, like that original game. 
Um, I've got Alien Isolation. Never played that. Baldur's Gate. Horizon Zero Dawn. Red Dead Redemption 2. A game called Portal. Batman, Arkham Asylum, and GTA 4 are the games that I currently have. There's been other games mentioned, but I fucking forgot what they are. This is why I'm going to do the video so, so people can comment and let me know what else they would like to see. Search through Valindy's chest for her journal. Okay, Good luck, friend. so this... I've done this quest before. It's over a bridge. I never remember exactly where it is. I think it's back on the other side. Yeah, it's going to be back over here. If you ever pick up this quest, well, you probably have Questy. We're not using Questy in this Let's Play, so it doesn't show you where to go. But what we're going to do is we're going to be running across. One of these has like a... Yeah, it's over here, actually. Well, there's a couple of these where you can you can uh, run across. Also, I want to check in with some of these vendors to see if we have any potential upgrades. So there's another one over there, as you can see. Yeah, it's not actually here. Damn. Let's go check the other one. I hope it wasn't the other way. Does it actually tell me? Um, it just says one of the bunkhouses. It doesn't say, like, what area. Well, let me go in here real quick. I've been meaning to do this. My goods are of the highest quality. Okay, so this, this bow we have is pretty good. Okay, I'm glad to see this. So at level 40 is when we get the next rank of um uh of what of uh, weapon of enough. arrow let's see if there's a let's see if there's a, a weapon vendor up here what brings you here oh he just has thrown weapons Till next we meet And what do we got here? Cloth and two-handed weapons. We're not using either of those. Oh, Sentinel's bunkhouse. Okay, I've never actually noticed that before. It fucking tells you where it is. Staves and robes. Leather armor. We can go check over here, see if we can buy anything. Level 40 for the hunter is going to be big, too, because we'll be able to, to wear mail. I know it's going to be white or gray items, but still, it's a lot of armor. Here we go. All right, let's go turn this back into her. Let's go check in uh, with leather armor over here. Hey, bro, how's it going? Greetings. Greetings. I think this is some of this is what I'm wearing. Yeah, none of this, none of these are upgrades. Oh, that's actually an upgrade. Oh, let me go all the way to the back here. Oh, yeah, we've got upgrades here. And we've got money to spend, so I need to do this. Whatever armor we can get, we're going to take. So we'll do that. We'll do that. All of this. Wow, I'm so glad I came here. We have a whole... Oh my god, it's expensive. That's okay, we need this. Let's put all of this stuff Go on. We got a whole new look here, man. Look at that. I'm digging it. My goods are of the highest quality. The highest, you say? Okay. Yeah, let's sell all this stuff. Denadris. All right, I'm digging the new. I'm digging the new look. 
uh, that we look kind of badass. <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't know if we look badass, but I like the hat. It's got holes for our uh, giant ears. That's right. I like the new chest, too. Why do you like the chesty? It just looks cool. Get a good look at that. Yeah, it's good looking there. Okay. <laughs> Keep it together, perv pants. How may I help? I've got Nadris, this. Farewell. Speak with Dizzywig and Ratchet. Be careful. All right. I don't really remember. I mean, I've done this quest before, but I don't remember what any of this is about. It also, because I'm not reading. <laughs> um, you know, I don't really know what's going on. This journey is not about reading quests and getting into the story. This journey is a personal journey to get to level 60 without dying. All right. I feel much better now. We've got, um, I mean, we don't have any extra health because gray and white items do not have stamina on them. But we've got armor and we've got upgraded abilities. You know. Let's get our booties back to Auberdyne and we'll go do the Tower of Alifax, which is still green. I am honored. Oops. Goddess, watch over you. What brings you here? I need a ride, my friend. May the stars guide you. Could have done a little bit better looking for a weapon. Requires level 29. Yeah, we probably could have found something. I do need to look. These I've not seen better. I really... Uh, I mean, I did all of this, right? I don't know why I didn't go see if I could find daggers or either a bow or crossbow. Don't believe there are any gray or white rings or trinkets. Actually, there might be a white ring, but it's completely useless. There's no stats on it at all. I think it's called like the one ring or the, the two ring or something. And there's no white necklaces that I know of that have, you know, would be beneficial. I could be wrong. Some of you guys and gals might actually know. All right, let's do it. Let's go slay a fool. Yeah, I like the new getup, man. We kind of like we got a thing going on now because we got it all from that vendor. So we're kind of uh, like we got a little transmog going on here. I would love to make it to 40. Yes, I would. I don't I never remember how much mounts are in classic. Is it like 80 gold or something? I doubt we'd be able to afford one during the whole series <laughs> even if I made it to 60. I don't know. The nice thing about these higher level quests that we're getting into, they do reward a decent amount of money. And the mobs you fight, they drop usually silver instead of like copper. So you kind of, you can save a little.
So last time we were here, there were uh, there was a team doing this. Congratulations. Morante has reached level 60. Somebody slaying kitty cats. All kinds of them. We didn't do the buzz box quest here. I don't think we did any of those. I don't know if I just didn't... I chose not to do it? I don't remember actually seeing it. I can't remember where you get it or how it starts. I thought it was a gnome. But there were like four or five buzz boxes, but we never did any of those. Like too late now. The only reason I'm remembering that is because there's one right on the other side of the bridge here. But they're all over the place. It turns out you're being duped. It might be a goblin. I don't know what, what the fuck it is. You're being duped or something. Yeah, here's one. All right, the tower's going to be right up this way. As soon as he comes out, he gets a piece of food. Piece of meat. Level 17, so she's not doing this quest. Oh, somebody's here, though. Somebody's killing mobs. We can just walk around most of this stuff. But I do need room to maneuver in case I have to run out. I don't want to pull anything, even gray mobs, right? These, uh, I mean, they're not high level, but they are green. But the problem for us, we can't really, we can't have too many things on us. Because we don't have the, we just don't have the HP to be dealing with it. So I guess he's going to be at the top. And we have a pet to deal with. And it looks like there was just a patrol right there. Okay, she's on the stairs. So this is how we handle this. We need to bring her out. Let's see what kind of damage this Void Walker does to us. Not much. Shit. I actually pulled back to the pet there. Ain't no way in hell you got that on me. A little bit worried about this quest. It, be, a tower like this isn't isn't the best for us because of line of sight. It's mana up here when my health ticks up.
We've got some bandages we can use. Should have a patrol right there. problem for hunter or ranged class. So luckily, because these mobs are green, we don't stand a high chance of pulling something above us. could pull another one like that it would be nice but I don't think I can so boy not feeling good about this there's what's his name he's level 31 See if we can... Okay. If we were... If these mobs were yellow, we'd be pulling this other shit here. Now, I have to keep in mind that they kind of run. They run away a little bit. So that's probably a double pull here. So this would be the most challenging. What I'll probably do is just burn him down. I try to trap. The problem with casters is they don't come at you, so you can't trap them very well, right, with a freezing trap. Rapid fire is going to come off CD here. We'll use that. Okay, that was a pretty good concussive shot there. Because she was on her way over to tell. Holy fuck. God damn. <laughs> Fucking glitch. Glitch there. Thought I fell off something for a moment. So what I really need to happen, if she runs, I hope she runs this way. Because this could be bad right here. Oh my god, that's fucking creepy. That's freaky. Ooh, man. Alright. Um, I'm going to put this down. Cause some shots up. Okay, good. I need him to come back this way a little bit. He's a little bit too close here for me. To this freak. Maybe we can pull him without this mob.
I think we actually can. He's not a caster. Yeah, nice. We have we just have him. Rapid fire. Let's see what he does. If there's anything annoying. He doesn't do shit. He gets his ass whipped is what he does. Okay, we got stuff that's spawned back. Fuck. Oh, we're free. Oh, shit. Let's get out of here. I should be able to run out. Nice. Can't have that, but thank you very much. How may I help? Farewell. Goodbye. Is this guy in trouble over here? Oh, there's fuck, they're still on me? <laughs> they're fucking still coming for me. Alright, we're out of combat now. Alright, Maestress Post is uh Right back down here, Ashenvale. Right there. Feels good to get that done. Wasn't too bad. A little note there. Let's give him this uh, haunch of meat. I still have this Void Walker that we picked up from. I think it was one of the ghouls, a rare ghoul in the crypt in Duskwood underneath the Raven Hill Cemetery. But it's green, so we can't use it in combat. It stays you with you for an hour, which is cool. I think. But yeah, I wouldn't be able to use that because that's... I mean, it's a green item... It's just, I don't know, it feels too much like I'd be using some kind of, like, armor pot or health pot or something. So we're not going to, we're not going to mess with it. The other thing about this is I don't know how much, I don't think I'd have any control of it. And sometimes if you have something protecting you, the aggro range is fucking massive. So we could be running here and he'd be running off, pulling all kinds of shit. I mean, I don't know, but, you know, I don't really want to find out, but... What I might do is save this. If we manage to hit level 60, maybe as a celebration or something, I'll see what that thing does. I don't know. We'll figure out something. There there will be a celebration, though, that's for sure. A little cinematic is what I usually do for the character. Some music. Maybe some hot dogs and hamburgers. Not a lot of people still doing this, but there are some. All right, Maester's Post, so quickest way there is to fly to Auberdyne. Ishnuala, 
Be careful. Alrighty. Mm. Starting to warm up a little bit. I had to turn up the damn heat. I thought I was done with the heat. But it's cold. And my little apartment here is very poorly insulated. The, um, the floors. I've got this old carpet. Thin. Probably the padding is all disintegrated. But there's no... There's little to no insulation in the walls or under the floor. So the cold literally, if I'm sitting here with socks on with my feet on the floor, the cold radiates through the floor, the windows, just terrible. <laughs> it's a pretty old place. I think this house has been here since the 30s. Might be the 50s, I can't remember. But I've got a little foot cushion here that I put my feet on. And it actually, it's heated, but I had unplugged it. And I've got the the plug somewhere. I think it's in my closet somewhere. I just haven't dug it out because I know if I get it out and plug it in, I'll use it once or twice. And then it's going to be, you know, spring is officially going to be, well, it's already officially here, but it's going to be too warm to use the thing. So I just haven't gotten it out. So I'll just keep complaining about how cold it is. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Ba -da 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 we also picked up a quest to go get more satyr horns, so I guess we're not quite finished here. And I'm hanging on to quests like this because... Uh, Yellow and green quest is the way to go. Green, obviously. A yellow quest, if it's... Like, I'm okay with yellow quests on a, a challenge like this. If it's out in the open, I don't feel comfortable about doing a yellow quest in, like, a cave or something like that. But we'll hang on to this. Got to go to Ratchet. Turn that in. Got stuff in Rathy Highlands. Uh, Altrek Mountains. Um, it's going to change the hearth. Where is the hearth? It's still in Darkshire. Doesn't need to be there now. Not sure what I'm going to do after this. Since I'm on this side of the world and we've already, you know, we've already seen the trainer. I guess we may as well just come back over here next episode and uh, get these satyr horns. It'll be a nice little easy-ish uh, quest for us to do. Decent XP and all that. The area I'm most worried about is going to be... Black Rock Mountain, like Searing Gorge, that area, those two areas. That's where I died at level 57 on my Beard Fist at Dwarf Paladin before the, the Troll Hunter got to 60. There are elite mobs in there, patrolling mobs. Unguro Crater is a little bit scary, too. Alrighty, here he is, the purifier. King's honor, friend. King's honor, brother. Light bless you. Which one sells for more? This sells for way more. Be careful. Alright, that's the end of that quest chain. Very nice. Yeah, I guess we'll just hang out here. And next episode, we'll probably uh, work on this. Seder slaying.
Do, 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 do. This place has the most Night Elf vibe of almost any place in the game, I think. I mean, aside from Darnassus, obviously. Or the starting area. <laughs> the night elves let's make up two more of these sell that 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 and that keep it on top of first aid which is good We've not really had to utilize it very much because it's. I've been playing it fairly safe. A couple of close calls. But using the pet effectively, you know, just one mob at a time, occasionally two if they're green. It's not that bad. Da, 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 da. All right, let's chill out in the inn here. Thanks for hanging out for a little bit. I uh, appreciate it. You guys and gals take care. Iron Woman and myself will catch you in tomorrow's episode. Till we meet again. Peace. <laughs>